Good morning, Bach. Today is Wednesday, June 9th. I'm Sloan Collins. And I'm Madison Willis. On today's show, we're highlighting journalism students who earn national recognition, thoughts on the newest season of Stranger Things, and a special thank you to Bach teachers and staff. But first, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bulk journalism students earn national honors for their coverage of a national movement. The Journalism Education Association offers students a platform to showcase their work and receive recognition for their journalism. Tyson Jimerson, Kylie Calderon, Sarah Ferguson, and Nicole Vassallo received a superior rating from the JEA for their story in the portfolio on the Black Lives Matter movement. This story can be read in their January issue. After the last season of Stranger Things, we have all been anticipating a new part of the series. Last month, the teaser trailer for season four dropped, showing what seems to be a flashback from Eleven's memories and what really happened to our favorite sheriff. Let's see what some of Box students' thoughts were on the trailer and what this season will bring. Well, there's going to be a new problem, because there's always a problem. It's nothing, nothing's ever perfect. Um, Elle's going to get her powers back, because if you can't have a superhero without powers, you know, it's you, it's you, it's you. The ashy thing is important. The bloody nose, blood. Okay. Um, you also, Hopper, he needs to be alive. He's like the highlight of my day in Stranger Things. So what we think is going to happen in Stranger Things Season 4 is that I think that Elle is going to be possessed by a monster and then um, but she, but she, um, her actual like body in the Upside Down is trying to get out of like being possessed from the monster but it's a new monster. Yeah, definitely a new monster. So um, everybody's going to try and run away from Elle and like the new monster and, but um, then they figure out that Elle's in the actual in the Upside Down like the good Elle and then they're going to try and get her out of there so yeah. I think Dustin and Susie are going to meet up and they're gonna be a really big part of the season. Yeah, yeah. Because there's definitely something missing. In yeah, the because season. I feel like like they just kind of just sang and they yeah. didn't really like get to actually be a part like of like in real life mm -hmm. together. So I think that'd be a better part. Yeah. The newest season of Stranger Things is predicted to be premiering sometime in early 2022, where you can watch it on Netflix. Now to Kira with some fun movie trivia. Thanks, Madison. Well, being in quarantine, families have rewatched old classics that came into theaters a while back. This past weekend, I went through some of these old classics. I'm gonna play a 10 second clip from different movies. See if you can guess what movie they are from. Ready? Lights, camera, action. Well, okay, what happened? <laughs> that was the day I invented time travel. I remember it vividly. I was standing on the edge of my toilet, hanging a clock. The porcelain was wet. I slipped, hit my head on the edge of the sink. And when I came to, I had a revelation. Only one never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed me. No. I am your father. I am your beloved Count. Olaf. No. What is this? Hi, Da. I'm sorry. I don't speak monkey. Banana. Violet, you're turning violet. What's happening? Well, I told you I hadn't quite got it right, because it goes a little funny when it gets to the dessert. It's the blueberry pie that does it. I'm terribly sorry. Close your mouth, please, Michael. We are not a codfish. Well, don't stand there staring. Best foot forward. Spit, boy. Were those movies easy to guess? Let us know on our Admoto page. You can watch these movies on Netflix or Disney+. Plus. Sloan, how many movies did you guess correctly? I found a few of those to be tricky, but I think I got the majority of them right. Thanks, Kira. Bach's parent-teacher organization is treating Bach's teachers and staff to an end-of-the-year appreciation luncheon this Friday, June 11. Bach MSOA students also want to give a big thank you to teachers and staff. We appreciate you and your hard work throughout this school year that looked like no other.
Teachers, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for all the hard work that you put into your teaching. Thank you to all the teachers at Fall. Thank, Thank you, teachers. teachers. Thank you so much to all teachers. You really helped us through a hard time, and I don't know what we could do without you. Thank you. Thank you to all teachers and staff for the sacrifices they made to make this year as best as it can be. And for learning all sorts of new technology to help accommodate all students. Thank you to all of our teachers. We hope you have a great summer. You deserve it. And here are four special teachers that are retiring this year. Everyone here at Bach will miss you. Miss Alonzo, Miss Cornwell, Mr. Fallon, and Miss Smith. Thank you for teaching and inspiring us all and the difference you've made in so many students' lives during your time at Bach. That's all we have time for today. Signing off for the final time is your morning anchors. I'm Sloan Collins. And I'm Madison Wallace. Thanks for tuning in and have a great rest of your day.